Hi, this is Glenda. Um, I'm playing with paints again and this time I've been watching Tonya Gibbs uh, show the polished stone background and again I wanted to dig out what I had and see what I could do and my first attempt I wouldn't say is terribly good. When I tried to copy and you know mimic the materials she had it's not really working for me so I sort of went back to the beginning and started again. Uh, that one I tried on watercolour paper. The next ones I tried on various glossies and this one, uh, that was the Kazaz glossy paper and it, I think that was the Kazaz. Oh no, I'm lost. Anyway, uh, it, it bubbled in a most unusual way that's pretty much made it unusual, un, unusable I suspect. I'm not sure I can think of anything to do with that one um, because it's actually when I tried to sort of peel it back to see what it had done, it had gone right through and is actually, it's not just the paint that's bubbled, it's the paper is separated. So clearly paper is um, important. That one um, is, is kind of pretty. Um, well, the camera's never going to do justice to the pearliness. Um, this one I thought worked quite well. Um, but I've, I've just been playing and playing with different um, things to try and and you know get a polished stone sort of look and I won't call it opal because in Australia most of our opals are dark opals and they're so vibrant and the colors are just wonderful and the white opals I wouldn't consider to be as popular then I don't like them as much but they're all beautiful opals my favorite stone by far um, so we'll just call this stone not not any particular stone I think it's perhaps more marbly than anything but this is the one I've tried most recently and this is what I'll try and sort of repeat. Um, it's it's not the same as um, the Tattered Angels kit. It's, it is different, um, but it's still an effect. So, you know, if you just want to play and you don't want to buy a whole lot of extra stuff, then um, I won't promise you'll have everything, but um, you should have most things. So I ended up with just ordinary cardstock, it's not even terribly thick. And um, this is pearl white acrylic paint. Um, I'm not sure they even call it a metallic, it's just a, a pearl white. Um, so I decided to use that as my base. I also decided I didn't want to put it too thick because I don't really want it to bubble. You want texture in the stone, but you don't want it on it because if it's polished, it would be very smooth on it. And once you get the bubbles in it, it's very hard to do anything about them. So you kind of somehow need to get the texture pattern without actual texture. So I'm going to swirl this on because I don't particularly want linear brush strokes showing. It would be better to have no brush strokes, but then I'd have to put my finger in it and do it that way. and. I suppose that could be a way to go. The things we sacrifice for craft. Oh, see, it's still, it's still a bit streaky. So, now I could have just gone with a brush. Okay. I did say I was still playing with all this. So, then I've got my very diluted homemade black. We just want a bit of that and um, a blue. This could almost afford to be a fraction paler, I think. Um, but like all these things, they're all going to turn out different. This is a pinky colour. A bit more of that. A tiny bit of a yellow. These are all mostly made with just Distress reinkers and whatever colour I happen to have at hand. Then this is my chalky, opaque one that I made the other day with a little bit of white gouache paint and um, water. So we'll spray that on. And then again I will try and speed up the drying times for you so you're not too bored. And um, I'll just dab it every so often to try and disperse the colour, to change it.
Okay, so this is something you may or may not have, iridescent medium. I bought it at um, the local art shop, it's very readily available. It is super sparkly and I think I thought I was going to use it for making homemade glimmer mists, but it's actually a little bit thick and clogs the, um, the spray, so it didn't really work for that. But you couldn't really ask for more sparkle than that, it is lovely. And I'm sure you can think of another way of doing this. You might mix some perlex or something with water and paint that on. You know, whatever you've got, experiment. But I have this and it needs to be used up. Although it worked so well for this that I'd possibly replace it if it did get used up. I'm just going to put a thin coat on of that. Absolutely pouring outside. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but it is loud rain. So then I'm going to put a little bit more colour on. And some more of the white. Maybe even a little bit more black. The black, I think, just helps make it look like there's veins in it a bit more and dry it again. Okay, so I think I'll leave that one at that. Um, that's what we've ended up with and I mean you can add any colours you like um, you know, experiment with what you've got and what colours might work for you if you fancy this technique. Um, and if you don't, I'm sorry you had to sit through it. <laughs> so thank you for watching.